And we back. It's Vach Lombardi. Let's take a look at Mitch Hyatt. Our uh, left tackle, undrafted free agent. I think we got some pretty good value for him to say that he's an undrafted free agent. There are some teams that had a like a draftable grade on him, whether it be five, six, or seven or whatnot, but we were able to get him without spending draft capital. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, so what I see from him, and let me just show you this one play and it'll kind of sum up how I feel about him as a whole. I got a, I, I took away so many traits, um, you know, so many points to talk about from just this one play in particular. Let's just kind of run it a little bit, right? Um, I think he's going to be a guy that's going to take a while for us to develop. I don't necessarily think you can throw him on the practice squad because I think he's good enough as an undrafted free agent that you just can't put him on the practice squad as some other team, you know, could just, you know, take him from you. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, moving forward, how we're going to get these guys on the roster and actually keep some of these guys. But, uh, you know, when we're talking about offensive linemen, we want to talk about feet and then we want to talk about hands, like how we travel and what we do when we you know when we actually get there right so i'm just taking a look at his feet right i know there's potential to have fantastic feet there right take a look at it just just look at how he's traveling right now pretty good feet pretty solid feet but just a just a small you know thing that i noticed like look at how he's pounding his feet right like like he's he's pounding them like he's really putting in a lot of effort uh to to have quick moving feet and that's okay that just means that with a little bit of coaching that he can actually upgrade his feet there and he can actually be a a little more lighter on his feet so he's not just pounding 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 right uh let's talk about uh let's talk about his hands right i hate it <laughs> i hate his hand placement right just uh coming up like this I always I always talk about moving heavy objects moving a refrigerator pushing a car right you wouldn't come from up and down right like that 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 ain't that ain't strong right there i want you to uh, to punch from your chest directly out you're a lot more strong that way and you can actually deliver blows now mitch will punch you cuz this is mitch's version of a punch he's punching you he's his 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 hands are active here he's just not punching in the right way which is uh which gives me even more reason that you can develop him and actually uh fix that like he he's he's a willing puncher he's a willing mover you just got to fix that uh he's about six five some pretty good arm length right there i'm fine with that but this is the biggest deal that we're going to have to work on his actual strength uh you know we you know i'm not seeing much evidence of an anchor right here him being pushed in the pushed in the sunshine right there right uh i kind of want him to you know kind of drop his butt a little bit he's a little high look at his look at his base look at his legs right now he's basically you know standing up you see his base get kind of tight right there so i do feel like we have traits that we can work with but i think it's going to take a while to get those uh to where we like really want them uh so Let's keep looking. Let's talk about this play, right? Uh, and, and this play is basically reinforcing what I said on the last play. Let's just kind of watch it, and then we'll bring it back, right? More so of the same thing that we saw last time, but um, there's an there's an added element here. So we see them moving, moving, moving. Pretty good feet, pretty good feet. They're heavy, but still pretty good. But hand placement still... I'm kind of rough with, but what I like is that Mitch was able to win with length right here. So I just knocked him for his hands, but I always say in my offensive line videos is that if you're lacking length, you better have some damn good hand placement and, you know, vice versa or whatnot. So if Mitch doesn't necessarily get his hands in the right place, he can win with length. But we need to pair that with strength, right? So if you're watching Mitch, at this point, the, the, the block is one. And you see Mitch actually planting his foot and dropping his hips to actually try to anchor right here. He just doesn't have the full strength to just stop that thing, right? And you can you can see Eleven kind of stopping his tracks right there, but he keeps pushing and he keeps pushing Mitch. Now, you know, this, this block was categorized as successful and Trevor didn't get hit and everything was okay here. But this is just me looking at small, uh, small pieces of evidence there. Just, just, just kind of showing you what he can work on and just reinforce what I said on the last play. Boy, oh boy, take a look at this, boy. We got uh, we got Mitch and his left guard on this down block to backside back right here. And my goodness, boy, oh boy. Oh, Mitch is fantastic with combos, man. You know, you know, Mitch, Mitch may have a power issue or whatever, you know, but, but, you know, if, if him and a guard are like working together, man, Mitch gets to second level really well, man. He executes combos really well. Take a look at this, man. Down block on your boy. Top, 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 top. Mitch get his eyes up. Look at Mitch executing this, this combo here. And you actually see Mitch get his eyes up and he finds 13, right? He finds 13. He just. Boy, I'm sorry. I should have warned you if you had kids watching because it's pouring right here, dog. You, you, you. I, I should have warned you. I apologize. 
Let's take a look at Mitch right here. We are we're taking a look at South Carolina right now. Let's just take a look at how he handles this gap exchange right here, man. Uh, pretty good, Mitch. Pretty good. Um, solid movement. Take a look at Mitch's feet. They're not getting crossed up. He keeps his base. Uh, if he's moving right, he's pounding his post foot, not crossing. Um, if he's moving left, he uses that left foot. Uh, we're going to see a solid little pass along here. He's going to get his eyes up, find old boy there, and he's going to take care YouTube of YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. Nah, it's just perfect, man. Take a look at Mitch and your left guard again. Listen, man. If you're going to run any kind of zone, man, and, and the Cowboys are. The, the Cowboys are, are going to run plenty zone schemes and concepts, man. Look, look at that, that. That's what you need. That's what you need, man. Always always say, man, you, you've got to take care of A-gap. Block your linebackers. Block the mic in particular, but just block all your linebackers if you can, man. And Mitch is just so good at you know, when Mitch got help, good luck to you. And mostly offensive line is played is played within the unit. So there will be help. There will be combos. There will be plays where we can, you know, free guys up a little bit. I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? And just in this scenario, man, I'm just loving the combo. Mitch gets the second level really well, man. One more thing about Mitch here. I think he understands where he is with, like, power, and he'll tend to lunge a little bit. You know, like, whenever his feet's moving, he's good. That's any offensive lineman. You know, you're moving your feet, your hands are good, you should be good. Take a look at Mitch's feet and take a look at his upper body and how his feet start moving once he lunges there. See what I'm saying? That's bad for business. Get off the ground, Mitch. You're going to see him lunge, and his feet just going to stop moving. Look at his feet. His feet are not moving. This entire, that entire frame right there, all that, all that right there, his feet ain't moving. That's bad for business. So if Mitch is going to lunge, pretty good hands right there, though. Hey, yo, Mitch. Yo, Mitch. You see this that you're doing with your hands? Do this all the time. See that bending your elbow? See how it's tucked in there? Your hands fit perfectly in the frame? That's what you want. Ain't that better? Ain't that better, Mitch? Yo, Mitch, you actually delivered a blow this time, Mitch. Hey, ain't that better? Good job, young Mitch, but now bring your feet, though. And I think that that's another play that just kind of further sums up. Uh, Mitch got some value to him. Mitch can give you something. Uh, you just got to be in a situation where you can, you know, properly coach those things up, properly coach them, train them up, and, you know, put them in a situation where he can uh, not be pressured to play immediately, in which I don't think he will, where he's not going to be pressured to, to, to just play day one. He's not going to compete, bring him in, let him do training camp stuff, let him fight, let him lose some battles or whatnot, but uh, mostly teaching. This first year should be all about teaching. You know, we're we're trying to fix the uh, the – heaviness of his feet but keep the movement of it we're trying to you know work on those elbows to get that hand placement right i, I really think that's what leo collins has been missing you know he just needs to really focus on nothing but his hands there just just hands and putting them in the right place and also that magical thing that happens in the off season of the national football league you know you know people people get peanut butter sandwiches and they get a bunch of protein shakes and you know they lift waste for three months and you know now they big swole, you know what I'm saying? So we'll have that conversation a little bit down the road, but it's going to be exciting to see how young Mitch works in training camp. Hey, man, uh, that'll be all. Y'all like the video and hit the notification bell because, you know, as soon as y'all get notified, I think it works better off if y'all watch this thing within the first hour and, you know, watch it all the way through or whatnot. So I do appreciate y'all helping me out on that. Uh, Patreon, Twitter, V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Support the merch, y'all. Hold it down for the Doski Woski. The Peace Ski Weeski is free. Salute.